development. And this has to be addressed because it's not healthy. And it's not great for our environment. It's not great for our citizens. It's not great for, for safety. Um, and again, we have to look to our future because we can't get that what we're doing. We can't get it back. So we have to protect it before it's too late. Well, I like to say that developing swampland is tricky. Overdeveloping swampland is dangerous. And this is what we have to look at here because the bottom line is all of Florida is a swamp. And for years, I mean, we, we, have, we have a history of destruction of habitat from the Corps of Engineers coming in in the early 20th century and digging canals and draining the land and all of this stuff to even our modern practice where we come in and everything we build, we raise four feet, six feet, but we don't raise the land around us. So we really need to rethink our practices and development. That's the thing that concerns me the most. We are building an outdated style. We need to do something completely different. And as far as growth, growth is a mathematical equation. If you pay attention to the math, you have good growth. If you don't pay attention to the math, you get what we see in Sarasota today. 4,000 people move to Sarasota every year. Yet, right now on the books, and Lourdes, because she's on these numbers, she would know exactly how many, there are enough homes approved right now for the next 20 years of growth. And I know for sure that in 20 years, we are going to live in a different kind of house than we live in today. Technology changes, materials change, we need to be looking at the smartest ways to be building so that we really are creating a Sarasota for the future and not just allowing the development community to continue to build a type of home that only generates profit for them and does not secure the future and prosperity of our community and also protect the value of our property. I've got a yes-no question. I'm moving now to questions uh, that were submitted by our member organizations. Yes or no, spot jump zoning, which is illegal, is now occurring when a spec speculator associated with only one property proposes changes to other properties belonging to non-participating property owners. In other words, they're speaking up for other people who have parcels that are identified the same as theirs. In order that it might appear not to be spot zoning, would you support preventing this by requiring a representative proportion of those for which the change is being proposed and the neighborhoods adjacent to the non-participating properties to demonstrate their support for the changes in a very transparent and public process? I think yes. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot. Well, it's complex. Yes um, Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I would add some things to that, but yes. Well, we'll get back to that. Uh, Alex, keep the microphone. What are the three major threats to our quality of life in Sarasota? What are the three main major threats to our quality of life in Sarasota County? Say just a little bit about each, please. Well, I think we all agree that uh, uncontrolled development, what I like to call mindless development, is a threat to Sarasota County. The fallout of that is, of course, traffic and all of these other things, which traffic is a threat because the accidents are increasing. We endanger our young people who are inexperienced drivers. And one of my biggest concerns about traffic is how it affects our elderly population. You know, we have the oldest people in all of the United States who live in Sarasota County. 
And I'm proud of that. I'm proud that we are the, we are the caretakers of the oldest population in the United States. But we are not being responsible for them. And traffic is a simple thing. We had to take away my stepdad's driver's license because it's just too dangerous for him to drive. And that's not right. Um, the other thing, I guess it would count as two, traffic and development, even though I look at those as the same. I, I, our, our environment is so under threat and so many people have tried to stop that and we have to find a way. I, I am dedicated and committed to my entire time that I live in this county, which should be the rest of my life, to doing everything I can to protect our natural resources. We not only have problems with East County, we have problems with our bay. We have problems with our beaches. We have problems with the small areas of wetland habitats that we're trying to preserve within the cities, the municipalities, and even you know everything west of the, um, of the interstate. So I would say our environment, uh, development, and traffic. And the third thing is, I'm just going to say corruption, because that's what it is. I'm going to call a spade a spade. And the only way that we fight corruption is to stand up as people and demand that our government be accountable to us. And people ask me all the time when I'm out campaigning, what does a county commissioner do? And this is what I say to them. I said, I can't really tell you what a county commissioner does, because I don't think they do the right thing. But what a county commissioner is supposed to do is they are the elected official of you. They are supposed to represent you against the government of Sarasota County. They're not necessarily supposed to be part of the government. They are your representative. And you need to be, you, most of the people in this room are very active, but we need to find ways to empower our friends and the people in our communities to stand up, to go to county commission meetings, to write to their commissioners, to get involved in these neighborhood projects that are under threat from development or whatever it is, because I truly believe that we the people is a real statement, but we have to claim that. We can't just sit back in apathy and do nothing. We have to stand up against the corruption and we have to demand transparency in our government. Ruta? Um, first and foremost, I think the environment is one of the biggest things and re biggest responsibilities of a county commissioner. Um, again, it's things that uh, the environment cannot be replaced. And, uh, and where we're going right now with our oceans rising, with toxicity levels in our waterways, um, these are things that we have to look at. We also have to look at sustainability. We have to start moving towards renewable energies and cleaning up our environment and cleaning up Sarasota um, and moving towards a greener environment for all of us. Um, along those lines of environmental protection is also infrastructure. And with that infrastructure, safety comes into play. And we are responsible for the safety of every, as a commissioner, they are responsible for the safety of every single citizen in Sarasota County. When you start disrupting roads or not having adequate access in and out, South County, if you're down there in the Venice area, in the Northport area, they have roads that have two lanes in and out supporting thousands and thousands of people. God forbid a hurricane come where will those people go and how will they get out? These are things that are critical to the commission to look at. They also have to look at shelters in case of storms. We, we had that horrific hurricane coming through and it got, thankfully it missed us. But we had people who are hundreds of years, 102 years old, who were waiting to get into a shelter. They didn't have handicapped access. These are things that are critical to a community. The other thing that we have to look at as a commissioner are social services. Again, I co-founded this medical clinic. If you saw, if you actually see what the needs are of this community for mental health, for regular health care, we have an opioid crisis that 
is growing. We don't have the mental health support in this area to even do that. We're wasting money on some projects with hundreds of thousands of dollars that should be going back into our services to service our community better. These are things that we have to fight for. And I also agree that we have to stop the corruption. When you look at the money trail and who's getting paid and who supports who, it's outrageous. It truly is outrageous. Every single citizen should be standing up and saying, enough is enough is enough. No more buying out our, develop, our, our rights as citizens to developers. We have to stand up and say, we want to be heard. We don't want the developments. We don't want our roads torn up. We don't want our ocean and beaches destroyed. We want us to be taken care of. And we have a right to stand up. And we deserve to have a voice on the commissioner's seat who's going to protect us and represent us in not special interest. Really? Really? What would you do to address sea level rise? Uh, I don't have a PhD in that, so it's going to be a little hard, but we have to take sea level rise seriously. We live in a coastal community. It's extremely frightening. Projections are, by 2015, inches and inches are going to rise in Sarasota. Our sea coast is going to change. The coastlines are going to change. Right now, we're actually 